Okay, tutorial. Uh, here we're going to learn how to convert FLAC files into MP3 so that you can take them from your favorite player like FUBAR, which is FLAC ready, and put them on iTunes uh, to sync them up with an iPod. You can put them onto an Android device and play them on that. Uh, anything that can't really play uh, FLAC, but you still want to download FLAC files and listen to, to uh, FLAC on your, your main computer. So the way we're going to do that um, let's see. We select an album, something like that. Let's do Harvest. Everyone knows Harvest. Uh, we're going to right click. You're going to go down to Convert. And then you won't have these presets. Uh, you want to click this ellipsis right here. So the way this works, um, you click your output format. You choose here. Uh, I'm going to do MP3. Uh, and that's what we're going to learn today. Uh, and you can edit it over here. So I have it on 320 kilobits per second CBR. You can go to uh, VO, you can go to V1, all the way to V9, which will probably sound like, I don't know, talking to a corpse through one of those big street cones. Just muddy. Gross. Anyway, CBR. Um, pick any of these, and you can click back. Choose your destination. I have mine set to this file called convert on my desktop. It's empty. Um, all these options over here. Um, you can convert each track to, N to an individual file, which is great. You can do all these sorts of things. You can merge them into one uh, file if you want to just have a quote unquote playlist. You can build that and then turn it into one file and put that on a CD. I don't, I don't know why you'd want to do that. I just I just have this so it outputs it normally. Processing. You can convert to mono. You can do anything with a DSP really. Uh, that's in FUBAR components or things like that. You can download presets. And then other, you can execute a command, uh, generate a Q file or something like that. Which is always nice. Um, so you know, I saved this, clicking this button, like I said on my things, and then save to VO, which is great. Uh, and then you click convert. So when you do this for the first time, uh, FUBAR is going to ask you if you have lame.exe. So it's going to bring up a folder, and you'll see lame.exe um, over to the right, right above where it says save. So probably right here, if this were the save button, this were the cancel button, right here. Yeah. Um, and you want to locate that on your computer, so you have to have it first. So you go to the lame project. This is the first thing if you just Google uh, lame.exe right here. Download 3.99, and I have it in my Audacity. So it's right here. So you just direct um, foobar to wherever you dragged and dropped it, and click OK, and then you can convert. This will show up, uh, tell you a bunch of fun information, and as you can see, these are all filling with MP3. MP3. Uh, me just can finish converting from metadata. Oh, here we go. All your metadata is preserved. I'm not sure about album artwork. Um, that's not brought over here when you uh, convert, so you probably have to manually transfer that over or write a script. Okay, so it's all finished, and it'll tell you whatever it outputted. So if you converted a bunch of them, it would just append them into this long list saying these are the files that I appended, and these are all set to go on your, your iPod or your iPhone or whatever takes MP3 but not FLAC. So I, I hope you learned a lot, and that's it.